see a question from uh, you can say Leibniz theorem. So if y equals to sine of sine x, then we need to prove this. Okay. So you can also write this as uh, in a very familiar fashion as y2 plus this is y1. So y1 times 10x plus y cos square x equals to 0. So we need to prove basically this thing. Okay. So, so we need to prove this thing. Now here you can see we have y2, we have y1, we have y. So first of all you have y. First write this y equals to sine of sine x. Now differentiate both sides with respect to x. So we will get y1 derivative of y is y1 equals to derivative of sine is cos. So cos of sine x we go inside we get sine x derivative of sine x is cos x. Now differentiating this once again so we will get uh, we can write differentiating both sides with respect to x. So derivative y1 is y2 equals to derivative of cos is minus sine. So minus sine of sine x we go inside now wait this is the first function this is the first second function. So we will use the product rule. Okay. So I have done the derivative of this. So minus sine sine x. Derivative of sine x is cos x. This cos x as it is. Plus derivative of this cos x which is minus sine x. And this time this complete remain as it is. So cos of sine x as it is. So y2 equals to. Now what was your y? y was your sine of sine x. So this can be written as minus of y. And this is cos square x. Okay. Now cos of sine x. Now cos of sine x if you look you can write that as y1 divided by cos x. This you can write as minus of sin x you have and in place of cos of sin x from this particular equation I am writing this as y1 divided by cos x because I can see I need to prove something like this no y2 equals to minus y cos square x sin by cos is your 10 so minus 10 x into y1 now bringing everything to the left hand side so y2 plus y1 tan x plus y cos square x equals to 0. Now y2 is basically your second derivative so d2y over dx square plus uh, tan x times dy by dx plus y cos square x equals to 0. So this is what we needed to put. No use of Leibniz just differentiating twice to get to our answer and this was also a part of your entrance test of 2021. So important question and an easy one. Just differentiate twice because you can see you can have a double derivative here. So you need to go to the double derivative. So differentiate twice and you will reach the answer.